They vintage, so uh, they were they reflected the character and the style of that year, which was a challenging year for it, Burnley because there'd been um, a, 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 a tricky flowering, there'd been um, downy mildew and powdery mildew in June, July, and August, and then there was grey rot problems in, because of rain in August. So it was it was on the cards that it, the fruit might not have ripened before it rotted on the vines. In fact, what happened was that the weather turned good in mid-September and it was good all the way through to the vintage. So it was possible to produce, uh, uh, to pick grapes which had got sufficient sugars. But there was always a bit of a question about how, um, how fully ripened the skins would be. And what we've just been tasting is four red burgundies, all of which are moving, the colours have moved from purple to sort of uh, ready brown, slightly olive, and there's quite a lot of evolution on both the nose and the palate. And um, these are wines which were made by people who didn't want to vat uh, for a very long time because of the fear of, 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 of extracting some vegetal and perhaps stemmy flavours. So um, we were tasting, um, I'm talking about the Burgundies really because I guess that's my hinterland, we were tasting um, wines from uh, quite a, a vintage which was challenged by the, the, the New World wines, I think, which, which, which were generally coming um, from, from climates and from growing seasons, which perhaps were more favourable. Um, we definitely found, however, that there were, uh, that there were several wines. Um, there was a marvellous wine from Oregon, the Christum, there were two, there was a very good um, uh, Martinborough wine, I thought, the Martinborough Vineyard, um, there, was a, a, uh, there was some very fruity, clean Tasmanian wines, two of them, uh, which showed really well. And sometimes um, they had the complexity and the perfume and the elegance and the ar aromatic um, finesse on the aroma and palate, which made me say, are these from Old World wines? Are these from France? Or are they from uh, cool climate areas or of, of, of the New World? So in the last 10 or 15 years, surely, Pinots from uh, the best areas where Pinot is now being planted, um, um, many of them are making much more complex and, and spicy and silkily textured wines than used to be the case.